Morning guys, this is Big Rig 150 here. I uh, want to make a, uh, a video about uh, recalls that happen uh, through manufacturers now. Um, some manufacturers have more recalls than others. Some are more publicized by others. Um, it doesn't make the manufacturer bad. Sometimes the, the part that's bad is actually from a third party. Uh, because of the way the economy is, it's a global economy uh, as of now. So a lot of people are uh, subbing out parts and it's uh, a part that you would normally make in-house. You're able to make it uh, less expensive in uh, Mexico. So you're getting a sometimes substandard quality work. Uh, not all the time, but sometimes that's what happens. Um, especially when it's a new vendor that a manufacturer uses. So sometimes they, they got to be a little careful. Um, because like, like in government work, lowest bid wins. Well, do you really want the lowest bid when the space shuttle is going up? That, you know, that was the, the joke many years ago, but it's the truth. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to do this on a little bit more of a, uh, every couple day when, uh, not a lot of news is out, um, just to kind of keep you in the loop of what recalls there are. Uh, there's not a lot of recalls that happen all the time. Um, right now, I know Toyota has two of them. Uh, one of is one of them is for a hybrid. Uh, there's a wiring issue that they had that they discovered. It was back from June of 2015 to I believe uh, June of 2015 to June of 2018, uh, they found something, they discovered something. Now it's only cars that were uh, made in Japan. So if you have a hybrid, uh, a Toyota Prius, don't freak out. It's a million, a ve million vehicles, um, which is a which is a large number, but it, it happens. Okay, uh, Toyota has another one right now for their Avalon. For seatbelts and airbags, um, seatbelts seem to be uh, seatbelts and airbags right now seem to be a very big one, uh, and it's that's for safety. Whenever there's a safety issue or risk of fire, those are the ones that that happen quickly. Uh, they try to get those uh, taken care of as as quickly as possible. Uh, Volkswagen, their Atlas um, SUV. It actually has a airbag recall because water is causing the airbags to go off. You don't see some of this stuff all the time. It's weird how it just uh, happens. Uh, Ford does have a big recall. Um, 2.2 million vehicles. Um, it's for their seatbelt tensioners. Um, could cause a fire when in an accident. Oh, it was just a part that was left off the vehicle. They didn't uh, realize it. Um, not every car is, um, not every vehicle is part of a recall also. There are some cars that they have the recall set, but it's not in their uh, window, or it was one that they checked and it's okay. Um, Recalls happen because they they discover something. They discover that there's a fault. They discover that it could cause an accident. It could do this. It could do that. Um, Chevy had a big one years ago with the ignition just stopping. Uh, many people will remember that one. That actually you know, affected my my family. Uh, in reverse, it wouldn't start sometimes. Um, so. There was one time we spent 45 minutes trying to get the car started. You know, you spend 45 minutes trying to get the car started, you get a little frustrated. You drive that car right over to the dealership and they say, oh, well, it's a known issue. There's no fix for it. Now, this was, the car was purchased in 2005. And years later, they discover that there's an issue. And then when they say there's a known issue and they have no idea what to do. The only way to fix it is to put a new starter in at 
my expense. Why is that my expense when there's a known issue? And that's where you get people a little angry. If you gonna if you have recalls, recalls are part of cars. Mercedes Benz, one of the new one of the SUVs, it was a little uh, a little hard to dig and find, but they're having an issue with brakes. It happens. You know? All vehicles have a, a have a recall. Some are not as uh, prevalent or as known. Um, they kind of keep it kind of hush hush. Um, years ago, Toyota had recalls on uh, had an issue with their with their Prius um, accelerating. It was their max. You know, things happen. You you don't realize how global the the world is. You have smaller people that live in Japan, in Asia. So some of these things might not get discovered. We're in the United States. We are a little bit of a bigger country. More people are obese. It happens. You know, I, I hate to say it, it happens. Um, but you have smaller stru uh, stature also. Uh, most people in, in the United States are roughly five foot ten as the average height for for man. Uh, women, it's uh, I'm not sure. I just know the male stack because that's what they build the cars off of that standard. In, in Asia, it's probably five foot six, five foot seven. So it's a couple inches where they can have the cars a little bit tighter. Um, so that that's where some of these recalls come. They don't realize it in the global economy. It's hard to realize everything in a global economy. Um, I know Jeep right now, uh, Ram has a recall for the a tailgate coming unlatched. It's a silly one, but it's just, it's an important one because you can be driving down the road and all of a sudden there goes your, your, your load right down the street. Or it hits the car behind you, unexpectedly. Um, my word of advice, go to your dealership, get it taken care of. Um, they should have a car available for you um, so that you can not be inconvenienced. Now, some of these recalls are a quick hour uh, fix, uh, like the Ford one. I know that personally, it's, it takes about an hour. And that's simply um, just tape being put on. And that was a simple fix. So please go, if you have a recall, contact your manufacturer, get it taken care of before there's an issue, because if you don't get it taken care of and something happens, it's on you. You can't go after the manufacturer. This is Big Rick 150. Have a great day, guys. I will talk to you later. Please like, follow, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that more and more people can hear about me. Thank you, guys, and have a great day.